take a look at this. This material can absorb up to 30 times its own weight in liquid. It may look like the latest in kitchen roll design, but it is in fact a new high-tech dressing, and its makers claim it heals wounds in super quick time. Now, there are two main reasons for dressing a wound. Firstly, to keep germs out, and secondly, to absorb the fluid which oozes from the wound. Most dressings just absorb this fluid. What's special about this one is its unique three-layered structure, which actively pulls the fluid out of the wound. And just imagine the hairs in this paintbrush are the fibres in the first layer of the dressing. The fibres all sit vertically to each other so that when they're put on top of the wound, this red paint, there we go, the fluid moves up quickly and into the second layer. Now this mechanism is called capillary action and it not only cleans the wound but it also draws in new blood and infection fighting cells behind it, both of which should promote healing. The second layer here is made of a different material, an absorbent polyester cotton. This locks the fluid inside it, keeping the wetness well away from the wound face. Now this means the wound is kept moist under here, but the surrounding skin doesn't get wet, which makes ideal healing conditions. Now that's a theory, but does it really work? Well, the Royal London Hospital is just starting trials of this dressing, and last week we met one of their first patients, Khalil Ahmed. Now, just to warn you, if you're a little bit squeamish, there will be close-up images of his wound. One week ago in this Indian restaurant in London, Khalil, the chef and owner, had a horrible accident which left him severely burnt. Last week when I was working in the kitchen, uh, I wanted to be a uh, more uh, hot uh, gravy pan, one place to other place. And my leg was slipped and the uh, gravy fell about my body. I was uh, screaming that time. It was pain, really burning pain that time. Khalil did the right thing by removing his clothes and dousing himself in water. At hospital, this was repeated. Since then, Khalil has been bandaged with conventional dressings, but because he's diabetic, there's a worry his wound might take longer than normal to heal. So today, staff at the Royal London Hospital are going to try out the new layer dressing. I'm going to take all the bandages off, sure. and then I'll get the doctor to come and he'll have a look sure. at the wound. Sure, that's OK, no problem, thanks. Graham Moyer is the consultant plastic surgeon at the hospital. This is a, a typical appearance of a, a superficial burn which is healing without any sign of infection and doing quite well. We're going to try a new type of dressing which hopefully will speed up the healing. The new dressing aims to provide the optimum conditions for healing. Neither too dry nor too wet, just nicely moist. Now the wound is clean, the dressing is secured firmly in place and bandaged. Khalil seems happy and is now ready to go home. Thanks for helping out. Thanks, all of you. Well, Khalil's accident happened 15 days ago, and that dressing's been on for seven days. Well, Khalil's here, as is Graham. Khalil, how are you feeling? I'm feeling well. I'm yeah. getting better, yeah. OK, well, Graham, it's yeah, probably a good time to, to, to take the, the uh, dressing off, don't you? Are you ready, Khalil? Yes, fine. Yes. Moment of truth? I'm getting better, yeah. So what do you think about this, Graham? Well, I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm very glad to say it's completely healed, as, as we, we had hoped. Mm. Um, Khalil is a diabetic, and diabetic wounds can be slow to heal, so I'm quite impressed. OK, well, what next now with this sort of dressing? What are you um, going to do? The next step is to use it on, on more complex wounds, um, difficult problems like leg ulcers and pressure sores, mm -hmm. and that's what we're planning to do next. So exciting times for, for testing this out. Yes. OK, thanks for coming in, Graham. Khalil, Thank especially, you. thanks for coming to you. Best of luck. Thanks very much. Thank you.